What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here, and in today's tutorial we're going to be talking about walls in Revit. To be more specific, the topic is going to be covering walls that have wooden construction. So, you know, those walls mostly used in American buildings, you know, those 2x4s and everything. Uh, those walls have uh, wooden construction. In between, you usually have some sort of ins insulation. And then uh, you have uh, either gypsum wall board or something like that uh, on top. Now, these are really difficult to create, especially if you want to show all of those elements. If you want to show all of those wooden elements, it can be really difficult to achieve that effect in Revit and it can take a really long time. So in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you a little trick how can you manipulate the curtain wall tool in order to create these really complex structural walls. So that's what this topic is going to be all about. Now before we get into that I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and also make sure to subscribe. I make multiple Revit tutorials each week and also I make one advanced Balkan Architect course each week. All of these courses are over one hour long. I've got over 50 hours of content, so you can check out the first link in the description and there you can find all of those courses as well as all of my Revit project files, like this file that I'm going to be creating in this tutorial here. Okay, so with that out of the way, without any further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So here we are in Revit and I'm just going to start a new model project. So go here to models, go to new, and then I'm going to choose the architectural template as this is going to be an architectural project. So uh, creating this wall is going to be a manipulation of the uh, wall tool. And if I go here to wall and select the wall tool, here in the properties, we can scroll all the way down and find curtain walls. So we're going to be modifying an existing, uh, an existing a storefront curtain wall to create our wood wall construction. So I'm just going to go here to storefront, uh, go immediately into edit, go to duplicate, and now let's create a new type. So I'm just going to call this one a wood construction wall. Okay, so once we have this new type, now we can uh, start making changes. So the first changes that we can make over here is going to be uh, to the construction. So currently the function says exterior, that's okay for now. Of course, you can change it from exterior to interior. Next, we have the curtain. Uh, next, we have, of course, the uh, automatically embedded. We're going to be leaving that as is. And now the curtain panel. Now, this is really important. So here, what I'm going to do is change it from uh, glazed to solid. So once we have that change created, also here we can start playing around with our vertical grid. So the vertical grid is currently set to maximum spacing. I'm going to change that to fixed distance and then type in uh, 60. So that's 60 uh, or 600 millimeters, making it 60 centimeters. Or maybe let's go with 400 for 40. I think this will work better. Next, we have the horizontal layout. Currently, it's set to uh, to 40. I'm just going to bring it down to maybe 220. Uh, add another zero for millimeters. And next here we have the uh, vertical and horizontal mullions. Now I'm not going to be making any changes over here for now. And I'm actually going to be sticking with the 50 by 150 measurement, but I am going to demonstrate how to change this. So I'm just going to click OK. And now uh, if I go here to the project browser, scroll all the way down, here we have families. Now if I expand the families menu and scroll down a little bit, here we have the uh, curtain wall mullions. Now if we expand that menu, here we have rectangular mullions, and if I expand that, here we have that uh, 50 by 150 millimeter. Now I'm just going to right click and duplicate this one, and let's just call it wood. Now if you want, you can go ahead and change the dimensions here, and then if I just double click over here and open up the type properties, here you can actually make changes to the dimensions. So the thickness is over here, 150, and then we have the width. Now the width is basically cut in half, so you have to go kind of extrusion on both sides. So currently it says 25 and 25, making it a total of 50 millimeters. Now of course feel free to change that. Now the only change that I'm going to be making in this case, it's going to be to the actual material, just because I don't want my wooden wall to be made out of aluminum. I'm just going to click over here in this uh, field Field, uh, go to this little three button dot, uh, three dot button, <laughs> and then here we can search for a wood material. So let's go here, search for wood. 
now we have many many options you can go to well whatever you want to use maybe we can go here to lumber and that's okay click ok again and we're done with that setting now we have to go back into our curtain wall so go to walls here we have our wood uh, construction wall go into edit type and then here we need to make a change so what you need to do is search here for that wood uh, wood wall so for all of these you want to set that to wood oops there we go wood and one more and we're done okay so once we have created this let's hit apply okay and let's create a wall segment hit the escape key a couple of times and then let's go into 3d so this is what that looks like now currently it's going kind of unconnected up to 8 meters I'm just going to connect that to level 2 in this case so there we go here we have our uh, wood wall construction now the problem that we have are these panels they're way too small uh, if I go back into level 1 you're going to notice that if we zoom in uh, here uh, these uh, panels uh, this is the panel so to select the panel you have to hit the tab key once and then you can select the uh, actual panel now currently this says solid panel and we can't really change it unless we unpin it but we don't really have to unpin it to change this what we need to do is go back here in the project browser we can uh, just collapse the curtain wall mullions and then we have to expand the curtain panels now here we have the system panel open that up here we have the solid one and now we can just double click to open that up now currently the thickness is set to 60 and the offset is set to 19 now I want the thickness to match the length of the this mullion so the thickness will have to be 150 let's just hit apply and as you can see it looks like this it's a bit offset to the uh, outside so we just need to change the offset from 19.5 to 0 hit apply and there we go now it's perfectly flush now one more thing uh, here we have to uh, change the material so currently the material is set to default but we can go here and click on this uh, three dot button open that up and then here we can change the material now I'm going to search for insulation and then here we can search for uh, all of the insulation that we can choose from so let's see we can go maybe with rock wool or something like that and then we can just uh, load that in and then here you can change render appearance uh, or things like that now in this case we don't really have to because we're we are going to be having a finished material on top so just hit apply okay apply again okay and there we go so here we have our main construction of the wall completed now the downside of this wall is we actually need to create it by blending in three uh, different walls so what we need to do for this wall for example let's say this is going to be an interior wall just an interior separating wall well for that what you need to do is go here to wall again open up the drop menu and let's switch back to one of the generic basic walls now I'm going to go here into edit type duplicate this type and let's just name it uh, let's just call it a wall board hit OK go into structure and change it from 200 centimeters to something more appropriate like uh, 15 millimeters or yeah that was 200 millimeters anyways let's go to material and let's change that into gypsum wallboard here we go open that up and we're done click OK OK again and we're done now just in order to see this a bit better I'm going to change the uh, 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 or turn on the thin lines there we go so it's a bit easier to see and now what we can do is just place that wall on both exterior sides so to place that uh, what we need to do is first change the constraints so it's going to set be set to height and it's going to go up to level 2 next for the location line I want to place it here on this exterior side so just change the location line from wall center line to the finish face interior and that's pretty much it so you can place it here and just go all the way to the other side click again hit the escape key go from here all the way to the other side click again hit the escape key a couple of times and we're done now if we go into 3d let's see this is what our wall looks like so it's kind of a sandwiched wall we have that construction in the middle and then uh, we have our uh, finishing uh, material on the outside 
Now, I know what you're probably thinking at this point, well, that's all nice and well, but what happens when you have a door or a window? Well, let's take a look at that situation. So what I'm going to do now is go here to door. Let's choose this one and let's just place it. There we go. We have a door placed over here. Now, if we take a look at the other side, the door isn't really poking through. So what we need to do is go back here into level one, zoom in a little bit. And the next thing that we need to do is go here to modify, join, and then we have to join these two walls. Now, once you join these two walls, as you can see, you get this little opening on the other side. So if I go here into 3D, we're going to get that opening over here on uh, this wall. Now we still have a problem here where we have this construction where our opening should be and that's actually an easy fix. So what we need to do is uh, just go here into our level one floor plan. So once we're here in the floor plan, uh, what we need to do is go to architecture, uh, go to your wall openings. So just go to the opening panel, go to wall. And once you're here, you just basically click once and create an opening like this in the wall. And then you can click on delete elements. Okay, so once we have created this, you have to find that opening, here it is. And then you can kind of stretch it out a little bit. And of course you can go into 3D just to see what that looks like. Here we go. Okay, it's a bit too high, so we can drop it down. Make sure to go that it goes up to this opening. Perhaps if we use the align tool, so let's go here to the modify tab. Uh, here to the modify tab panel, find a line. You can use the AL shortcut. And then if we can only select this line here and then this, there we go. So this seems to be working. Let's see. There we go. So now the opening, as you can see, completely fits our a door and then here's our door and now everything works correct and now of course if we, if we just select one of these exterior walls let's see there we go now you'll notice that the Revit actually added these uh, these mullions where the door is so if I just select this and hide it for a second so let's hide that element as you can see it added these uh, these here uh, these here wooden mullions or wooden elements on top. Now here it's kind of overlapping with this uh, this grid line over here. So maybe a good idea would be to select the whole uh, to select the whole wall. Uh, go into edit type and maybe change this back to 240. Maybe it was correct in the first place. There we go. Looks much better. And at any point, for example, here this probably wouldn't look like this. The joint condition won't look like this. So you can just click on this button here. And then you can kind of move it up, as you can see. So uh, you can play around with this construction. So here, for example, this should be going over here, overlapping. Same thing here. So you can fix all of this up if you want. So that's how you can create all of these uh, all of these elements and have them uh, have them arranged exactly how you want. And of course, at any point, if you want to make some manual changes, you can go here to architecture. You can go to curtain grid, and for example, this one segment option really allows you to add pretty much segments uh, segments pretty much wherever you want. So if you need to add elements to this, uh, you can. And that's how you can create this really amazing uh, wood wall construction uh, really quickly. And here, if I just go back to reset temporary height isolate, we have our wall. And of course, if we go here in the floor plan, as you can see, the opening looks exactly how it should. So that's how you can create these wooden wall construction in Revit the, the, the quickest way possible using the curtain system wall. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this uh, tutorial. If you want to download this wall, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. There you can also find all of my advanced Revit courses, over 50 hours of content so far. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.